In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet the motif squares from the center back of the Gigi vest. As you can see, these were done where I changed the color after every round, and I'm going to be using a thicker yarn so you can see it better, and also not changing color at the end of each round so that you can see that you have options when making something like this. You can either make it super colorful or you can make it all in one color as well. This motif begins with a chain six. So you want to tie your yarn to your crochet hook and work a chain six. Slip stitch to the sixth chain from your hook to form a chain six ring. Round one begins with a chain three, which counts as a double crochet, and work 15 double crochets in the ring. Double crochet is yarn over your hook. Insert your hook in the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. So the chain three count is our first one, that's our second one. We need 14 more double crochets in the ring for a total of 16. At the end of the round, you want to slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what your work should look like at the end of round one. Round two begins with a chain four, which counts as a double crochet chain one. Then we'll work a double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one. Then in the next stitch, we're going to work double crochet chain one three times and then one more double crochet. Then chain one, one double crochet in the next double crochet three times. Chain one. Then in the next double crochet, work double crochet, chain one three times, and one more double crochet. And you want to repeat this all the way around.
at the end of your last repeat, chain one, one double crochet in the last double crochet, chain one, and slip stitch to the third chain of the beginning chain four to join. And this is what your work should look like at the end of round two. Round three begins with a chain five, which counts as a double crochet chain two, and double crochet in the same stitch. Chain two, skip the next chain, skip the next double, and single crochet in the next chain. Chain two, skip the next double chain, double, and we'll work a double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the next chain. chain two, skip the next double, chain one double, and the next chain we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, skip the next double, chain, skip the next chain, double chain, and in the next double work double crochet, chain two, double crochet, and you want to repeat this all the way around. At the end of the last repeat, chain two, slip stitch to the third chain of the beginning, chain five to join. And this is what your work should look like at the end of round three. Round four begins with slip stitching into the first chain two space, chain one, and single crochet in the same space. Chain two, then treble crochet in the next single crochet. Treble crochet is yarn over twice. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, chain two. In the next chain two space inside this V-stitch, we're gonna work two double crochet cluster, chain two, two times, and then one more two double crochet cluster. Two double crochet cluster is yarn over your hook, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert in the same space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook.
chain two, treble in the next single crochet, chain two, and single crochet in the next chain two space inside the V-stitch. And you want to repeat this all the way around. At the end of the last repeat and the last chain two, you want to slip stitch to the first single crochet at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what your work should look like at the end of round four. For round five, we're going to work one double crochet in each stitch, two double crochets in each chain two space, and two double crochet, chain three, two double crochet in each corner. So let me show you how. 
chain three counts as our first double crochet that's in the single crochet then we come to a chain two space two doubles the next stitch one double the next chain two space two doubles The next stitch one double the next chain two space two doubles and now we've come to our corner stitch we're going to work two double crochet chain three two double crochets in the corner And then continue on for the rest of the round. Two double crochets in each chain, two space, one double crochet in each stitch, and two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets in each corner.
At the end of the round, you want to slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join and fasten off. And this is what your finished square motif should look like.